name is Clara Hermit and this is The Naked Truth where I talk my truth in the hope that it will inspire and motivate you and in the hope that maybe you can learn from some of my mistakes. Change yourself, change your life, change your world, change your experience. It could all start right now. So on this week's Naked Truth I wanted to talk about why I am not mad or sad about my past. A lot of people are quite shocked when they find out about some of the things I've experienced in my life and the fact that I still seem to be quite happy. I lost my mum to breast cancer when I was nine years old and then my sister was diagnosed with breast cancer when she was 25. She died it's eight years ago now since my sister died. My life was a complete chaotic mess after my mum died. It was not a nice space to exist in and I was not a very happy person for most of my childhood, my teenage years, into my 20s and in fact it was only after my sister died that I really started to consider and look at my life and say hold on a second. I don't want to live this life anymore being a victim, poor me. I don't want to live this life anymore being sad and miserable and unhappy. I don't want that for myself. And I looked around and I could see that other people were happy. And then I thought there must be a way, there has to be a way that I can feel good despite of what has happened to me. And after my sister passed away, that's when I started to read spiritual books, when I started to read personal development books. And what really struck me and what really stood out to me was this idea that we have to take responsibility for everything that's happened in our lives and for everything that's happening in our lives. What also stuck out to me and what I was hearing a lot is that things don't happen to you, they happen for you. So here's me thinking, why are all these things happening to me? It's so unfair, it's not nice, it's horrible. And I was depressed, I had anxiety, I was very, very unhappy. And you know, you might think, well quite rightly so. Your mum died, your sister died, you know, that's not fair. And I don't want to be like, life isn't fair, get over it, because that's not the way that I choose to look at it. The way that I look at it is that things happen for us. So on a deeper level, a source level, we are energetic beings. And as energetic beings, we choose to come here and have this human experience because we want to grow and because we want to expand. If we went through life and it was all plain sailing, it would be nice, don't get me wrong. But we would probably leave exactly the same way that we came here. If I were to say to you, what have been some of the biggest turning points in your life? What has been some of the things that have really forced you to change and grow? I bet you wouldn't tell me really happy things, you'd probably tell me the things that have been difficult, that have been hard, that have been sad, that have been painful, because they are the things that make us grow. The same with our muscles. We lift heavy weights, we tear the muscle fibres, they hurt, and then more muscle mass grows. We're going through these things so they almost like crack us open and force us to grow and, and find out more about ourselves. And when I started to look at life like that, I was like, wow, because instead of looking back on my life and thinking, well, if my mum was still alive, my life would be like this, 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 this would happen, that would happen, it's so unfair, it hasn't happened, I haven't got it. I started to think, hold on a second, there is no other choice. This is how my life was meant to be. There is no alternative universe where my mum's still alive. There is no alternate universe where my sister is still alive. This is my life right now, and I have a choice. And that choice is, I can choose to feel like a victim, and I can choose to feel sorry for myself or I can choose to feel better now and I'm not going to say to you that I went from being depressed unhappy miserable to going hey yeah it did not happen overnight it took years it's taken me years it wasn't a switch that I just flicked and suddenly I was better and my life was better and I was better it's been a gradual chipping away chip, chip. learning understanding growing implementing things and coming up against myself because there'll be part of me that's like well that's bullshit that's not true I'm not taking responsibility for my life because I'm a victim and then uh, me I have to then go back to that part and be like well hold on a second I don't want to live my life like that anymore I think that if you're anything like me and you've watched a video about something spiritual or you've read a book about something spiritual, some part of you deep down recognises that there is a truth in this stuff, that there is an honesty, that there is something there for you and that's why you continue to watch videos and that's why you continue to read books and that's why you continue to explore. Even if right now you don't have all the answers, even if right now you don't feel it 
all the time and even if right now you're still not feeling great you know somewhere within yourself that there is a truth because truth recognizes truth for me i've managed to get to a place where i'm like do you know what i would not be the version of me i am today i would not be here doing this video and i would not have had the experience that i've had the learning and the growth of how you can go from being all the way down here to coming all the way up here so that I could share that with other people had I not have lost my mum and had I not have lost my sister. Now don't get me wrong, that doesn't mean that I'm like, yeah, it was a great thing that happened. Of course I don't mean that, it broke my heart. As I explained to you, there is no other option. This is my life. So what do I wanna do in this life? Do I want to live the rest of my life feeling sad, feeling like life is against me and life is unfair? Or do I wanna lead the rest of my life feeling happy, empowered, in control and able to help other people and myself. I go for the second option, why? Because it feels better, it's more enjoyable and the whole entire world looks better when you see it from that perspective. When you see it from the perspective of this didn't happen to me, this happened for me, things start to change. The world starts to change. Whether it's the job that you didn't get, whether it's the girlfriend or boyfriend who dumped you, whether it's the parent who doesn't speak to you. It happened for you, not to you. And from that perspective, you can ask, what can I learn from this? What can I learn from this thing that has happened to me? And don't get me wrong, there will be people watching this video who have had much worse things happen to them. And maybe what I'm saying seems a little bit throwaway or too easy, but what is your choice? Your choice is that you wallow in that trauma, that you allow that to rule your whole entire life, or the alternative is that you find out what you can learn from what happened to you, that you take back control, that you empower yourself, and that you live the life you were meant to live. Who knows what could happen when you do that. The only way to find out is to step into that place of control. My name's Clara Hermit. This has been The Naked Truth. I hope you've enjoyed it. Please do let me know in the comment section what have you had to overcome? What have been some of the biggest lessons that you have learned in your life and how did you learn them? Drop that info into the comment section below and hopefully we can all learn from each other. Please make sure you subscribe, turn on your notifications and like this.